This will heal in approximately two weeks. For the next patient, angiofibroma, I am using continuous. The laser light, the red light will guide you as to where the laser will be focused. Each lesion will hardly take one shot. I'll just show you about the ultra pulse. Ultra pulse, I'll reduce the size from 10 into 10 to, I'll be demonstrating on this lesion which is around 6 mm, keeping the energy at 20 millijoules. I'm choosing the square. This is energy repeat. I'm keeping it at 1 because if energy repeat, if I keep as 2, then 10 millijoules or 20 millijoules into 2. That is 30 millijoules the patient will get. Just see it. Since I kept it as 20 millijoules, you see one layer of skin being removed. Now what you need to do is keep it again, the same area, press it again. If you keep it pressed, it will do multiple times. Now the lesion is almost flat. The last fractional mold. Size 10 into 10, I am choosing the same size. The dot spacing I am choosing as 1.1 mm. Energy repeat, no repeat, so only one single shot. Energy 25 millijoules. There are two modes here, random and normal. If I choose square, in random mode the shape keeps, it will keep shifting. In normal mode, only the same size that I choose will be repeated. Can you see the microscopic or the uh, minute dots and with normal skin in between? So you'll find a lot of normal skin in between. As much as the involved skin is there, there will be an equal amount of normal skin. So the normal skin will allow the healing process to be faster. This is fractional or the scanning mode, which can be used for laser resurfacing and for acne scars. This, in short, is a gist of lasers in dermatology. Thank you. Next is going to be a radio frequency session by Dr. Raj Kumar. He's an assistant professor in the Department of Dermatology. Questions from the audience. A lady has plenty of DPN over the face. How to remove it, remove them? A simple cautery will solve the problem. Since it's on the face, 5 amperes is enough. Not above 5 or 6. Otherwise, you can start with 1, 1 or 2. Don't remove plenty of lesions. 20 to 30 you can remove in one sitting. The second sitting, you can remove all others left out. Watts on the face, multiple watts on the face, what to do? First, multiple watts on the face, rule out HIV. Since you have quoted multiple watts and multiple molluscum contagiosum over face, multiple molluscum contagiosum over face, first thing we have to rule out HIV. Otherwise, it's simple cautery. The only thing, don't overburn, we will end up with a scar. Just, just touch the lesion, if it's a molluscum contagiosum, see that the material is extruded out, leave it off, it will all fall off. Watts, just cartridge the lesion. One thing about watts, the viral load will be little bit heavy around the watt also. That's because of the immunological throwover. So normally what we tell, once we burn a watt with an electro cartery or a radio frequency, burn a little amount of surrounding skin also. Not over face, uh, over the other parts of the body. Face, since it's a cosmetic thing, we, may, we need not burn the surrounding area. If at all there is a recurrence, we can definitely go in for a second sitting. Don't overdo. Onycholysis. Amlofer, how is it useful? I think he has mentioned this onycholysis or onychomycosis. Onychomycosis. Antifungal, how it is useful, right? Radio frequency. Sir, only topical... Antifungals in onychomycosis, no use, sir. She should hold it. We have to combine a systemic antifungal. As you know, that nail normally grows at 0.1 mm per day. 
So you take.